Welcome to Knock on the Coffin Lid. Today we're checking this out for the very first time. As far as I'm aware, this is pretty much a roguelike deck builder. I've seen a lot of positive reviews about it. I've seen Co Carnage streaming it a good bit. And it looks like a fun game, similar to like the Slay the Spire or Darkest Dungeon. So with that said, we're going to jump into it, see how it is, and take it from there. Go ahead and hit new game here. And again, thank you to the developers or publishers for providing me a key for checking this out today. Turn on hints of this tutorial and introduce you to the game. You can go through it without hints or skip. Would you like to play it with hints? Yes. Since I want to know what we're doing here. This is the path. There are four events on it. This is a regular battle. Okay. This is a camp. This is a vendor. And this is an elite battle. You are here. Left click the regular battle to start the first event. All right. Your turn. Invaders get off our land. We'll leave when we've cleansed your faith. There's no filth here but you. Here's the hero brother of fire. Here's your health. Here's your ally. If they die, you will lose them forever. These are your enemies and demon worshippers. Note the effect applied to the enemies hover over them to read the description. Completely evade the next instance of attack if it deals HP damage. Any enemy effects on the, is the first thing you should do in battle if you don't want unpleasant surprises. These are your card skills, combat skills. Each card has an energy cost in units of energy. Is your energy it replaced, uh, replenishes at the start of each turn. So we can do pretty much four things right now. There's different card types. These are attack cards. They differ in that they deal damage to the enemy. Play all attack cards in your hand. To do this, drag a card from your hand to the enemy. All right, so deal 12 damage. Well, if this guy, let's drag this one to this guy. Oh, wow, they have 120 health a lot of health starting out and we'll dish one to this guy i think yeah but he has was that caution run out of energy click end turn boy all right he's got armor again probably gonna give me some new cards you are accused of demon worshiping don't tell us tell me who to worship Pay attention to the enemy's intention. He's about to attack you. The number indicates the amount of damage he's going to deal. Hover over the cursor to find, or hover the cursor over the enemy to find out the target of their next attack. Oh, okay, so it highlights it underneath you. I see. Enemy will attack your hero. You need to defend yourself. Gain 12 block. Okay, so these are both blocks. So I can use this one and this one. That'll give me 21, so we'll take one hit of damage. And turn. Nice. The enemy stat added a status card to your deck. Statuses are harmful cards that clutter your hand and have a negative effect. At the end of the battle, all status cards are removed from the deck. Okay. How could Lord Sigmus what it meant? It goes by so fast. You're going down, we're powerful warriors. I am disgusted even by the spit on you. Wait. <laughs> your cards come into your hand from the deck. To look at your deck, left click on it. Oh, okay. So here's all the cards in our deck. Deal five damage two time. Burn ethereal. If left in your hand, gain miss. Okay, so no one is going to attack you, which means it's a perfect time to play a talent card. Talent cards differ in that after playing, they are removed from the game until the end of the battle. Play a talent card. Upon taking health damage, gain one strength. Your hero has gained an effect given by the talent card. Hover over to read the description. So you gain, gain strength. You have one energy left, play a card. So they're not about to attack me right now. 
I'll deal some damage. Let's deal it to the guy in the back. Cards from your hand go to the discard pile to view the discard pile. Left click on it. Okay. Got it. Guess we'll end turn because we're out. So you don't have to control your ally, I guess. The enemy added a curse card to your deck. Curses are harmful cards that clutter your hand. Okay, same thing as before, pretty much. And yeah, it looks like, so I think this is a curse card. You've drawn a status card. I oh, know this one might, be, I don't know. Play this card. Cards like this don't get discarded upon playing, but get burned. If you burn cards, left click on the flame icon. Okay, so yeah, I see. So because if I would have to burn this card, if it's left in my hand by the end of my turn, I guess I would gain miss. Negates the next attack played. I see. And here's another one. You have item bonuses. Gain one attack per strength. HP... Okay, so if it's a lower than 80% or above 80%? Yeah, if it's if HP is greater than 80%, gain two strength. Yeah, potions that can also be used. Gain five armor armor. Drag it onto the hero. Beat the enemies to continue training. Okay. I think I, I see how to do this. When played, it is removed from the re remainder of combat. Okay, I see. Deal 13 damage two times. Uh, we'll hit this guy twice. And then they're both about to block. Oh, I'm out of points here. Nice, the ally attack. He's gonna hit with 15, he's gonna hit with 22. Uh oh. So, he's gonna hit my ally, and he's gonna hit me. So let's gain... Let's do this. And then, let's hit one of them for 18. Ooh, bad luck. Ooh, oh, I can't do that now. Shoot. All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to deal with it. That guy's almost dead. And turn. All right, we're almost there. We almost got him. They're both about to block. Kill this guy. Deal 19 damage. Oh. Okay. That's all we can do. He's gonna hit again soon, but hopefully we get something good here. Deal 20 damage. Deal 20 damage. Uh, and then all we can do is gain block. Well, hopefully the other guy can uh, can do some damage. Boom. There it is. As a reward, you can receive one card of your own choice from the three offered. Choose the card you like and click take. If none of the cards suit you, click skip. Why would you skip? I guess to not build it or add it to your deck. Burn, gain one energy, draw two. Serial gain 10 block and one instability. Damage taken in the next instance is reduced by one. Deal six damage if the enemy is exposed, gain 10 block. Oh, okay. I kind of like the adrenaline rush. I feel like that's gonna be good. You take an item as a reward, click on take. Okay. We also got an elixir. 
Open your inventory to change your weapon. So that we got this new weapon. Hover over it, hold the mouse, move it over there. You can also put some consumables in the inventory. And then you can also use it too. Oh, so your health goes down even after combat. It doesn't refresh. So look at your deck, left click it. Click the X to return back to the map. I'm assuming we go to the next camp. The day went well. We burned two villages to the ground. These people are not worthy of pity. They can they are they let contagious filth enter their homes. Demons will devour their souls and enslave their bodies. They can't be saved. We come to the walls of the castle. It's the citadel of nightmares. At night, I was haunted by anxious thoughts. The real battle is close, but the reinforcements are still not here. They want went by the way of the rotten bog. What could have gone wrong? At the camp, you can rest to restore health or train to upgrade a card. Click train. Choose the card you want to upgrade by left clicking it. Does it show what upgrades we get for doing it? Burn, gain two energy and draw two cards. Okay, let's see. Sure, let's upgrade this one. And it shows you how many times it's been upgraded with that little gem. Click on the shop to start the third event. Despite the war, trade doesn't stop. And let me guess, we're, we're gonna sell, sell our old weapon. Here's your gold, on the left is your items. Items on the yellow background are items equipped by the hero. On the right are the vendor items. All items have a price indicated. You buy an item and drag from the vendor's items to your Sell it, yep. I'm gonna drag this. Sell. Take a look at what's available for sale. Notice the set icon, it indicates that an item belongs to a set. When equipping the hero with two or more items from the same set, you'll get set bonuses. Hover over this one. Okay, I see. Elven. So I guess if you have a bunch of elven stuff. Yep, that makes sense. Hover the cursor over the item to see its cards available with it. Uh, they add item cards into your deck. Okay. Deal 30% damage equal to 30... Or deal damage equal to 30% of the target's current HP. Deal 12 damage and gain 1 evasion. Damn. Okay. As you remember, you have a curse in your deck. To get rid of it, click remove card. Oh, you can pay money to get rid of it. So, oh my god, the curse doesn't go away, too. Yeah. Yes. Get rid of that one. We are done shopping. Click the X. Yes. We're still in the tutorial. The tutor okay, never mind. The tutorial is over. The final battle will wait to you. When you're ready for it, click on the last event. Let's do it. On the second day, we met with those whom we can't whom we came the demons it was easy and pleasant to kill the servants they are not our equals we've prepared all of our lives for a battle with their masters however there are many too many demons they pressed on without a break and we fought without rests i took down a few demons but their place was taken by creatures larger and stronger when we when first cries for help were heard i felt that we would not win that fight Divert the attention to yourself and run to rescue. Unknown effect, unknown effect. Ah. Uh, run to the rescue. We decided to stick together until the end and not to retreat a single step. The Brotherhood of Fire cannot be broken. Okay. Oh, we're about to get destroyed. But it's a roguelike, so that's what, I mean, that's supposed to happen. You get stronger each time you, you go again. So let's, uh, let's, let's start with it. They're about to do a ton of damage, gain block. Let's just get ready. 
to block as much as we can and we'll do whatever damage we can in the meantime round one here it comes okay we're gonna have to block again go for this guy one more what is that balm at the start <laughs> yeah it's it's over hey gg we tried this is all part of the tutorial Jeez, there goes my ally. That's all I can do. There it goes. And we're dead. Forgive us, Mortis. We let you down. No, no, it's fine. The reinforcements didn't come. We can't manage without them. No, you've done everything you could. That's enough. Calm down and hold on for a bit. Help will come soon. At least I hope so. Wait. Here's a difficulty. We're going to go with normal. Enemies will pretend that they want to stop you. <laughs> Walking with monsters. Yeah, we're going to go with normal. Ah, I see. The actual knock on the coffin oh, lid. My head splitting. What's going on? Hmm. I don't even know where to start. What are you interested in the most right now? Where are we? Somewhere between the elven fortifications and the heathlands in the tomb of Ingvar. Ingvar's dead? What happened to him? The wine you brought on the trip was poisoned. <laughs> Ingvar, Venadis, Bjorn, they're all dead. Go on, and tell me, why should I believe you? It's easy to see I'm telling the truth because their coffins are next to yours. You all died. I've brought you back to life. Huh. You're welcome. Who poisoned the wine? Was it you? Me? Why would I kill you only to resurrect you? Who are you anyway? And what do you want from me? You may call me Mortis. You don't owe me anything. Just go home. Not so fast. Do you know who poisoned the wine? How much time has passed? And if Ingvar's dead, then who is ruling the Northern Gate? Too many questions, Percival. Does that surprise you? Why did you bring me back? What about the others? All in good time. I'll tell you when we meet again. I'll figure things out on my own. I'm not so sure I want to meet you again. I'm afraid this is inevitable. Safe journeys. <sighs> oh, my head. Damn it. What the hell is going on here? Every time you die, you come back here. I could have told you from the start. Again. But I wanted it to be a <laughs> surprise. Well, I suppose it's better than eternal oblivion. Go on. 
Are there any more surprises? You've moved back, not in space, but in time. Everything that happened oh, after really? your resurrection hasn't happened yet. Oh. So what now? Should I start over? You promised to answer my questions. All right, one thing at a time. Tell me everything you remember. All right, so we're about to go through our first time. So every time you die, it goes back to before. Oh, gosh. Oh, my. So I set out, feeling a vague anxiety, confused and discouraged. I couldn't even imagine how much things had changed, and I had no idea of the dangers that were awaiting me. You're a warrior. You're used to dangers. Don't blame me. Any story must have an element of surprise in it. Okay. Meet with Sigismund. Do not let his brother's murder go unpunished. Together we'll find the guilty parties and punish them. So we're at... We can go to any one of these three. I guess. Don't know what's happening here. So there's an event there. There's one here. Let's go to this one. Your Let's fight. In misery didn't show you sympathy and didn't expect compassion. Now all of a sudden it's quiet. I'll turn it up just a tiny bit. All right, here we go. Game adaptive includes special options to evolve into a different card. Gain two armor. Gain one block per each armor. Upon taking health damage from attacks, lose one armor. <laughs> All right, let's take that. And then let's go gain some block too. He's about to attack. Nice. All right, he's gonna do five more hits again. We'll go in for some damage this time. Cause I have an, oh wait, no, I lost my block. All right, take this block. Okay. Out of breath, skip a turn. Ooh. Hit him as much as we can. There it is. Got some gold. Take a card. Deal four damage when in, when dealing damage, inflict two exposed. Deal nine damage if the enemy is exposed. Deal the same damage once again. Ooh, gain five block and draw a card. Let's do, let's take this one because I don't know if we have any other cards that cause exposed. Robbers have never before dared to enter the Elven forests. They've come down from the north, from the heathlands, which have been recently ravaged by the war. It's a refuge of outcasts and fugitives from the empire, but Ingvar thought they were decent, freedom-loving people. Starvation and devastation may force even decent people to become bandits and marauders. Hmm. Okay. Unknown event. Or we could go to this one. Let's go to the unknown event. Passing through the forest, I came into a camp of bandits. The people were resting by a bonfire. I don't... I'd me warily. But none of them took up arms, so I... Calm down a little. I was invited to the bonfire, assuming that I wouldn't be able to refuse the invitation. I quietly approached them. The warmth and steady, soothing light of the fire beckoned me nearby. Two bandits were having a duel. Nobody was paying attention to them. A little further away, a few people were excitedly throwing dice. On the other side stood a cage covered with tilt. All the humans in the frontier, except you, are brigands from the heat plant. They mistook you for one of their own kind. <laughs> okay. Come up to the fighting bandits. Come up to the cage. Come up to the gamblers. Sit down by the fire. They thought I was one of them. Let's uh, sit down by the fire. I quickly fell asleep. Lulled by the warmth of the fire. I woke up well-rested and content. The bandits were long gone. I 
checked my belongings and saw not everything was in place. The scoundrels stole some things. It's good that they didn't slip my throat in my sleep. Oh. <laughs> How did you fall asleep, man? Did you talk about anything with these people? Did you learn something from them? I did, but nothing good. Before the invasion of the frontier, the Dwarven army entered the heathlands. They burned down all the human settlements. Those who tried to resist were killed, and the rest were driven south. The humans hoped to get some support from the elves, but the elves met them with hostility, too. Between a rock and a hard place, at the moment, the dwarves are bogged down in battles with the elves. The humans could not could try to go home. The dwarves have foreseen this, too. There are combat golems on the trails. The way to the north is cut off. These people are in a desperate situation. They're fighting for their lives. Last time, that last moment, I had you to know, speed up. I've been thinking, the Heathlands are not on my way, but the detour isn't that long. Are you thinking of going there? I wouldn't advise it. You'll encounter a combat golem. Combat golem. The dwarves have placed these golems on all the paths leading from the frontier to the Heathlands. To prevent bandits from returning home. I'll try to destroy him. You won't survive his first attack without the insubstantiality effect. But there's another way. You can disable and even capture the golem if you know the access password. Mm. Okay. So that's where we're at. We can go to this one or this one. I'm going to go here, because then there's another event right there. Forest is big, but the trail is, is larger. Thick. Gain two armor. And let's get ready to block. And end round one. Okay. Going to hit again. We've got seven armor. I'll hit him with one. I'll do this. And I'll hit him with one more. Oh, he's getting armor back. Okay. Hit him as much as we can. Nice. <laughs> Take it. An enemy extends to attack. Gain two strength. Gain four strength. For one attack, if a character is exposed, like effect is doubled um yes gain four strength for one attack oh it's just for one though oh inflict two expose yeah let's do crush so you listened to my advice and went home I went to Sigismund, Ingvar's younger brother, and the heir to the throne. To what end? What do you mean, to what end? First of all, to figure out what to do. I wanted to tell Sigismund everything I knew, and to hear everything he knew. I wanted to confer with him, and put together a plan for the future. I was certain that he wouldn't let Ingvar's death go unpunished. We both have much to find out. The farther I went, the so. more reasons I found for meeting with Sigismund. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Go here, unknown event. War is the filthy affair with corpse piling up, the marauders descending like vultures, rifling through the dead and preying on the living. I came across such a piece of scum along the way. He lacked the capacity to even be embarrassed. On the contrary, he beckoned me over and asked me to help pull the boots off of a corpse. Help him or attack? I mean, if the guy's already dead, sure. Let's not cause any more. You gained 150 gold. I helped the marauder with the dirty work and he shared his loot with me. So maybe he wasn't all that bad after all. I mean, who knows? Maybe he didn't kill the guy. Maybe the guy was already dead. I don't know. All right, so either way we go, there's an event. And then there's also a... Wow, there's a... Kind of cool. Is this where we need to go?
there's these icons here. Those are two dwarves. Oh, cards. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna keep going this way then. Oh, is, or is the only one we can go to here? Oh wait, oh, oh, too late. <laughs> a loony troll decided to reconcile the elves with the dwarves, but it didn't look as cute as it sounds. It is pointless to rationalize the actions of a not-so-rational creature. Apparently, tame trolls tend to copy the behavior of their owners in a very extravagant way. Start battle. Oh boy. I might be in some trouble here. Figure something out. Trolls are the most innocent victims of war. But you hardly think about that when one of these monsters is coming at you. Alright. Get ready. At the start of the turn, restore one HP per balm. And he has six. So he's gonna always restore six HP. At the start of, uh, at the end of each turn, gain one block. So I'll gain enough to block with his attack. Inflict two exposed. Then him with that. This and this. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, we got a block. <laughs> Hit him with this. 23. I've just enough. Nice. Okay, he's gonna hit me with 10 next turn. Let's do this. Cool. Fine, we're fine. He's gonna hit me with eight. this almost one more turn should do it oh gg this one is kill a troll during his furiousness got it an interesting character you simply killed him and that was that yes uh, what was i supposed to do all right, talk to him for a change. Come on, it's a troll. Continue on your... We're not going to do anything? This guy's just going to sit there? Okay. Gain one strength and agility. Draw until there are six cards in hand or gain five block at the end of each turn. Up and up sounds really good. Ooh, okay. So you get backstab. Backstab and pickpocket. And at the start of the turn, lose one strength and gain one agility. Take this one. Robber's knife. Uh, sure. Roll ear. Double the efficiency of balm. Sure, I'll take it. Trolls have never been seen in the frontier. Which wild wind has brought them here? I suspect it has something to do with the dwarves. You're right. The trolls were brought here from Thundering Mountain by the dwarves. They have long used these giant imbeciles as draft animals. But mm. somebody has given them the bad idea to train the trolls to consume elven flesh. So do they want to impart the trolls with refined elven taste? That's one way of putting it. By the way, from a troll's limited perspective, there isn't much difference between elven and human meat. That much mm. I figured out. <laughs> That's fair. Alright, I guess we're gonna make our way to the dwarves there then. Let's go here. The came I saw I took. I don't remember who said that. Open the chest. Found some gold. Shield purification at the start of the turn, gain four block for each burned card. Rolls club. 
When playing two attacks in a row, gain two strength. When playing a skill, the strength bonus is removed, gain two balm. Increase maximum HP by 20, gain five armor, three ward. Ooh, take the goblin arm. Yeah. So can I see what I currently have equipped? Oh, this is like a lore thing? Okay. Bestiary. The cards here? Go right here. Unknown event. Uh -oh. I had to face the most dangerous elven weapon. One lichen on the battlefield is worth a whole squad of seasoned warriors. However, very few lichens are able to keep their sanity under the pressure of the werewolf curse. Those wretched lichens cannot reign in the bestial nature of orchestrides or executed in peace and in times they are set on the enemies like hounds. You seem quite knowledgeable about the fate of lichens. Jorn told me about how, told me a little about how the Kurtz had made him an outcast. He is also a lichen, but he didn't go completely crazy, only half crazy. That's why he stayed alive. The Druid Council has forbidden him to settle in the Elven lands, but it's still better than dying like a mad dog. Start bad. Here we go. Human flesh. Man, I wish those. Is there a way I can slow it down, like the the animation speed? I don't know if this is combat speed. Oh, okay, I see. Auto pause in the background mode. Bump this up. Bump the sound down just a little bit. Okay. So let's we'll see about transform into a werewolf and gain evasion. So let's just hit him as much as I can first. Ooh, backstab. That's all I can do. Did you decide to have a rest? Oh boy. All right, it's about to hit me with 16, gain two armor. No. Deal nine damage, gain nine gold. Pick pocket. Okay, that was not good. I missed. Uh-oh. Ouch. Okay. What is that? Gain strength and the power of the moons. It doesn't look like he's going to attack next turn. And then we have enough for one more. We'll gain. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The start of it at the end of the turn, gain five blocks. Your turn. All right. He's still going for. Let's just do as much damage as we can. Take this. It's all depending on what he does. Okay, now he's gonna hit with 16. I do have 24 armor though, and I think that just gets removed. Inflict two exposed. Deal 14 damage. 24. Gonna hit me again. Prepare. 14 times two. Okay. Hit him with everything we got. There it is. You have one less. Nice. Okay. Choose a reward. Gain three disarmed. For 
three turns, gain five HP, two armor, and burn two status cards at the start of the turn. End it. Hmm. Deal seven damage, burn one status card in the deck. Ethereal, deal 20 damage. Ooh. So we have to do that. Okay, I'll take it. Poisonous armor, boots of the weakness. Start the battle, inflict four weakness on all enemies. Start the battle, gain one strength and lose one agility. Gain five barbs. When taking damage, inflict one poison. It's actually kind of cool. I'm going to take the boots, though, because we don't have any yet. Troll ear. Double the efficiency of balm. Gain three ward. When ward is triggered, gain one balm. Negate the next debuff. Take pelt. Oh, keep, keep. Oh, okay. I see. Keep tribute. Keep. Okay. Um, oh, we can... Oh, I see. I see. So now we can level up a card, too. What's the level up for this? Gain 10 block at the end of each turn? Take that. I'll go for the defense starting out. Yeah, take it. Some elves attacked me. That was the last thing I expected. What happened? Are the elves and humans enemies What's now? Happening? The mysterious death of Ingvar put an end yeah, to your life. This game is pretty cool so far. No one knows who poisoned the wine, so everyone's blaming each other. I've always wanted to play games like this uh, a little bit more. It's just hard sometimes for live streams that the audience I don't really have. But just the humans yet. have always helped the elves. But if you guys are enjoying this, leaving likes really does help out a ton. You mean Ingvar's people? Especially if you made it this far into the video. Actually, the elves consider the humans to be very fickle. Aren't they right? Okay. On to the next one. You'll die under the sound of my horn. Oh boy. Uh, so what is this? Recover health, gain seven strength for one turn, gain 30 block. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have block. Up and up, nice. Just block as much as we can here. Flicks exposed. Fighting three enemies is going to be a little bit harder now. Gain two armor. And this. Strength. Okay, okay. Good. All allies gain block. Let's see if I can kill that guy. Twelve. Yep, we got him. Nice. Now what are they planning? Get over here, big wimp. Right, he's gonna do twelve. I'll gain some block. Alright, we're gonna have to do this. Oh, I can only attack the guy in the front with melee. Wait, what? Is that what that is? Nice. Yeah, having armor is really good. Like, the amount that it's been giving me after each combat scenario, it's been very useful. Let's start with this, and then let's hit him with this. 24, jeez. Gain a little bit more block, but I'll go for some damage dealing here. <laughs> One more turn. I could have killed him last turn if I used uh, my other card. 
All right, let's get him. GG. Deal four damage when dealing. Uh, deal four damage when dealing damage. Inflict two exposed. Gain ten block and a discard, and discard a random card. Deal twelve damage if the enemy is exposed. Draw one and gain one energy. Take that. Sure. Take that too. The dwarves attacked the frontier. Well, it's no wonder. They've always considered that the land belonged to them and dreamed of purifying it of the elves. Only Lord Ingvar managed to restrain their aggression. Ingvar tried to maintain peace, but alas, he was poisoned. And his younger brother and heir, Sigismund, has done nothing to prevent the bloodshed. Okay, you go to camp. Finally, some rest. So we can either rest, but we're fine. Train or exit. We'll do train. Upgrade a card. And let's go. Honestly, let me upgrade a guard card. Confirm selection. Gain nine block and draw one card. Or effective guard. Gain one guard. Or gain nine block. Increase the... Wait, so it goes from... Ah, so you can choose any one of these. I'll gain 12 block. Try as I might, I can't remember how I came to the frontier or how I died. You were accompanying Ingvar on a peacekeeping mission to the frontier. The dwarves and the elves were on the verge of war. Only the Lord of the Northern Gate managed to bring them to the negotiating table. But the mysterious demise of your party ruined everything. Hmm. Why weren't our bodies returned home? As the Dwarven invasion began, you were buried hastily and with no ceremony. The Gosh. affairs of the living, as ever, turned out to be more important than the problems of the dead. Okay. Let's uh let's go for this. A couple of dwarves, blossom friends, or even brothers decided to teach me a lesson because I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. That is, for no particular reason. I was able to or I was about to have a very dangerous fight. It was clear that they understood each other without words. And they had won many victories fighting two on one. Our bad. All right, here we go. Punching time. Round one. Uh, two by two. Okay, so yeah, let's gain some block. More than enough, but that's fine. And then. Oh man, I should have just did the one and did this. Because this car gets burnt either way. That's unfortunate. Lunge? Go for the guy not attacking. Main block. Burn 12, uh, burn. Deal 12 damage, reset the cost of attacks to, and hand to zero before use. Do crush, but can't really defend against them. Don't do this. Uh, I might be in some trouble here. Fine, we're fine. Deal 14 damage if the enemy is exposed. Draw one. He's gonna attack me for five. I have nine armor though, so we should be okay with that. Go kidney blow on him. Nice. And hit that. Oh, I should have thrown toughen up out. Oh no. 
That's so good to have every turn. Wait, what happened to the armor? Or he just knocked it off. All right, we got a game block. Prepare here. Oh, man. Use one of these. Let's go backstab on this guy. A breather never hurt anybody. A breather? What do you mean? Okay, toughen up. Is he exposed right now? No. Can almost get him. Round seven. Oh, he's dead. No, he's not dead. Crush. Pickpocket. Uh, Billy, no. We got him. Uh, I'm about to take some hits, though. Twenty three. Oh, no. No. Defend as much as I can here. 46 times. Oh, this might be GG. This might be it. Okay. Oh my god. 29. I'm about to have my first actual death. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so over. He won. That's it. It's a good run. But here we go. Take care of yourself or you'll be dead. Oh, I'm already dead. Oh wait, I forgot I could have healed myself doing the top left. Oh no, I might have actually had it. Yo. You are understandably upset that upon rebirth you have to start from square one. This is not precisely true. Of course, you lose all your acquired skills and equipment, yet there is something even more valuable that remains knowledge. You will learn your path, your options, what works and what doesn't. Over time, you will be owned for success. And that's the genius of my plan. Change class slash difficulty, continue on your way. What's the classes? Ah, uh, okay. He has to hit level three to unlock the next one, I guess. Class items. So you get gold digger, knight, and veteran. Oh, and choose a perk. Okay. Continue on your way. The knock begins, and you wake up, and you go again. Man. So it's like I look into the future? And if you don't like something in the future, you can try and change it. What I don't like is getting killed for the most part. True. That's exactly what I meant, for the most part. <laughs> and how long will it last? <laughs> what do you want from me? It'll last until I decide you've had enough. Enjoy yourself. Do you have a problem with that? Think about what you want, Percival. Okay. Well, we are actually going to chill here for this first episode, but this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to try to do at least like one or two more episodes, and if it does well, we'll, we'll keep it going. But for now, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I post videos like this or go live. We've got notifications available in there. Uh, also, again, leaving likes, subscribing really helps out. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.